get a truck. What truck? Whose that, truck is it? My truck. What kind of truck is it? F-250. What year? 2008. So Gary got him an 08 F-250 with the 6.4 in it. And uh, we had a little bit of a surprise coming up. So we'll catch up to y'all when we load it up. How do you think it's going to go loading it up? Easy peasy. Hey, easy peasy. Well, we'll find out. Alright guys, so we got the gooseneck hooked up and uh, we're going to go pick up this truck for Gary. So I'll tell you all a little more about it. It's a 2008 F-250 with a 6.4 diesel in it. Original owner. It's got 135,000 miles and it's been sitting for about a year because he had a knock in the motor. Um, I suppose there was a coolant leak and a knock in the motor. We don't know if it'll run. Uh, the batteries wouldn't turn the truck over when we went and looked at it. So we got two battery jumpers. We're going to try to jump it. Hopefully drive it up on the trailer. Um, if that doesn't work, we're going to have to figure out how to get it up on this gooseneck trailer. I do have a winch on my truck, but my truck is hooked to the trailer. So we're going to go from there, and uh, we'll show you all the truck here in a minute. So you all follow along with us. All right, so it's time for the big reveal right here. Gary ain't even seen the truck. What do you think, Gary? Other than that little spot in the seat right there. Which one? Your, your truck. My gray one or the one I got? The gray one. But it's clean. Yeah. Hey, if we get it started, we're going to unhook it real quick and I'm going to drive straight to the trailer before something happens, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got her loaded up. Is that the little scratch you were talking about? Yeah. What, what we got. The only problem I seen, it had a little bit of a knock to it, but this transmission fluid is what is leaking. I've got an EPA on y'all. He said it was coolant leaking, but that's that's clearly transmission fluid. You can smell it and you feel it as transmission fluid. So Gary, what are you gonna say if we don't have a major problem? Score for auto medic. Go <laughs> ahead to the house now.
I'll tell the camera what you think the problem is now. You tell him. Problem is, the transmission fluid has got water in it. Now tell it's us what pink. You, tell us what you think in the comments because it sure is pink instead of being red. That's a mixture of antifreeze. And the leak's coming out right at the radiator. So right I'm at wondering the if the oil to water cooler portion is allowing it to leak over. All right, so I've done a lot of looking. I couldn't find any lines busted. I think it's the plastic tank on the radiator is what's busted. So my idea is I was going to hook, this is the send and return from the transmission right here. So I was going to unhook the two. What was I going to do? I was going to bypass the two that go into the radiator. This is what I was going to do. Instead of having it run through the radiator, I'm just going to have it run through the cooler for now and see if it stops the transmission leak. And if that does, it lets us know it's the radiator. So we're going to experiment with that. We're going to put this barb fitting in between the two. And let it, so that way it's still pumping. Leaking the radiator fluid into that. All right, guys, it's the next day, and we are back. And what did we go get, Gary? Transmission fluid. $300. Yeah. Had to go to Ford. Had to go to the further Ford place because the other one had a daggum coronavirus outbreak. So we got three cases of Mercon SP. Because what we're about to do is we're going to flush this transmission like we were saying before. Because all this water that's in it. So we're going to flush it till it's clean. My transmission guy that I'm buddies with told me that, that I'll take care of it. Uh, system holds 17 and a half quarts. So we got enough to double that. We got us 36 quarts. So hopefully I'll get it all cleaned out. We're going to drive it, see what condition the transmission's in. And what I'm going to do is just bypass the uh, radiator portion of the cooler, the oil to water cooler by hooking these two hoses together with a bar fitting so we can drive it and bypass that. We got a Blue Devil radiator flush to go on and put in the system even though this is leaking down here. I figured going to be good to get what we can get in the system and let it start cleaning uh, in case everything's good because Gary's going to buy him a radiator and then we got some decisions to make don't we? Yep. We got about three different routes. Route number one is what? Keep the truck. And you're going to drive it with a 6.4 maybe? Or route number two is we might do a come and swap on it. Yeah. Or route number three is sell the, sell the truck and pocket some money. Because it is clean and it sounds like it runs right and everything else seems to be working just fine. Got a set of decent tires on it. So we're going to get this flush and decide what we're going to do from there. All right, guys. We got our buckets ready to flush. We're going to crank it for a split second to verify which one is send and return for the transmission. I think I got them right. For the clean bucket should be the return and this should be the side pumping but we're going to make sure for we contaminate any new fluid we're going to block off these two on the radiator um, we've already been flushing the radiator i got all that pink stuff out for the most part it's coming out fairly clean now out of the transmission portion and it's coming out pretty clean out of here too now before we even put our blue devil radiator flush in there because we're going to be changing the radiator but we figured we might as well go and start cleaning the system since we got to run it to flush the transmission. Got clean water coming in there. We took the batteries out of the blue Dodge in here because we could not get this one to jump. Our little jumpers were dead and we weren't going to wait for them to charge back up. So uh, Gary's going to go bump the starter over and we're going to verify which one is which. We're going to get started flushing. How many comes in the case? Twelve. So Gary, was that about $200 for the transmission flew in the bucket right there? Yeah. How's that make you feel? Sad because I'm having to spend money on this to clean some. All right, so we flushed some more and we're just filling up with water and we're getting ready to crank and flush. We're going to let it run with just water in it at first. I'm going to drain it again, fill it back up with water and the the uh, Blue Devil radiator flush. And then we're going to run it a little bit. And I, and I guess we're going to try the truck out then. Go see what the gauge says. <laughs> Three quarters of a tank. Well, you came out ahead, Gary. You don't feel so bad now. Yeah, I saved a bunch of money. All right, go for it. 
Here we go. See the yumminess come out of here. Look like strawberry yogurt. <laughs> Moving. Hey Gary. So what have we determined? Do we need more transmission fluid? Yeah. We flushed all 36 cores through it and it's not as bad as it was, but it ain't good still. We got enough in it right now. We bypassed the radiator, sorry, the oil to water cooler portion. We've been flushing the water all through it while it's been running. It ain't pink anymore, but it's white. Been running warm water through it. We're gonna go on and put the radiator, the uh, Blue Devil flush in it, fill it back up. We're gonna drive it just down the street, not even a mile. See how the transmission shifts. With this little bit cleaner transmission fluid that's in it, uh, it had a check engine light on from a whole bunch of stuff from batteries being dead and everything else. We cleared all that out and uh, We're basically gonna see if the transmission shifts goes through the gears fine And then uh, if that's okay. I guess we're gonna go to replacing the radiator next And uh, Gary's got those some decisions to make like we mentioned earlier, but y'all tell us in the comments what you think Come and swap fix it drive it with a 6.4 or just flip it and let us make some money on it anyways We'll show y'all us driving here in a minute. So what, what, what did you ask me a minute ago? You think I would just keep it? Yeah. It's got a lot of power. It does. A lot more than this old 12. So now do you have confidence that the transmission's fine? Yes. We just got to finish getting the rest of the junky fluid out of it. Which is better than it was, but it still ain't right. Yeah. It does got power. It does have power. It broke in 37s loose, didn't it? Yeah. So we're going to put batteries back in Gary's truck. We got one hell of a mess to clean up. Isn't that right, Gary? Yeah. It's like skating on ice out here right now. You step on the floor. All right, guys. It's Automatic Garage signing out. We'll have some more videos coming on that truck. Y'all tell us what you think about it, what you think we ought to do with it. Um, I think Gary's kind of on the fence about what to do with it. What do you think, Gary? I don't know. Say bye to everybody. It's Automatic Garage signing out. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, check us out on Facebook, check us out at automaticgarage.com. And if you haven't hit that bell for notifications on when we come out with new videos, please do that. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, do that for us also. Because that kind of hurts me and Gary's feelings. Isn't that right, Gary? Yeah, it hurts my feelings. Gary gets real bent out of shape. So anyways, we'll holler at y'all later. We'll see you.